All right, thank you very much. Hello, everybody. It's your good friend Possible here, and I'm back in action with another look at another Giallo classic. We're going back. We're getting ready for Halloween with more Italian horror movies like The Red Queen Kills Seven Times, also known as The Lady in Red Kills Seven Times, also known as Blood Feast. Uh, basically, you got a nice little story here about Kitty, your average super sexy photographers who works in the modeling industry but not as a model believe it or not uh, she uh, she hides a secret and her secret is the fact that she murdered her sister that's right and according to the family tradition when sisters kill each other the the murdered sister can come back from the grave and kill seven people well excuse me six people and then she can kill kitty why did she have to kill six people before getting revenge on her murderer? I don't know. Taxes, logistics. Who who knows what happens in the afterlife? But I guess that's just you know that's how the tax you know you you, you got accountants in the other world too you know. But the point I'm trying to make here is this: she is not a very good killer because even though she goes around killing everybody, a lot of people are figuring out who done it and are and are always saying, "Hey, I figured out who the murderer is," and then themselves getting killed. The Red Queen kills seven times would have been better if it was the Red Queen only killed four times. Uh, they try to accomplish in 90 minutes what most movies would have accomplished in 30. And uh, it, was, it was a long, drawn-out process. Seeing Kitty fall apart, seeing people trying to help her, watching those people die, and trying to figure out who done it without really receiving any clues or anything. Uh, no real sense of the motive except for the fact that she's... Um, Except for the fact that it's revenge. Is it her sister attack coming at her from beyond the grave? Now, it's possible, but then again, Kitty has a way of finding that out. <coughs> Wink. So, the Red Queen kill seven times is worthy. If you like the good old-fashioned horror movies, the psychological thrillers, you know, how they dabble in the supernatural, even though it's not that supernatural, or is it? You know, the questions they like to bring up. What I didn't like about the Red Queen kill seven times is they really didn't give us any real clues. It was just a random goring death with a police officer that hung around and kept telling people not to leave town. That was the extent of his abilities there. The ending was kind of a wash. <laughs> no pun intended. And, um, and in the end, it all just came together kind of too conveniently, if you know what I mean. I give this movie a decide. I really can't give it a see it in good conscience. I also can't give it a pass. Uh, it's definitely worthy to check out if you're into this kind of thing. And I can't give it a niche either. It's just it's something you're going to have to dig deeper into finding out about if you're going to go after it or not. It is a classic. It was made a long time ago. It just doesn't seem to hold up today like it really could. All right, guys, that's it for me today. We'll see you at the theaters.